Okay, this is Module 2, Lesson 6. We're continuing doing multiplication of multi-digit numbers using partial products. On the first example, we have 27 times 36. We're going to start off with our area model. And I'm going to put 27 across the top. And I'm going to split it up to 30 and 6. Now, a lot of these I may have to do the standard algorithm for, for them to figure it out. Because I got 6 times 7 is 42, carry out 4. 6 times 2 is 12, and 4 is 16. So now we know 6 times 27 would equal 162. Because these aren't basic math facts anymore that we would have memorized. Because the second one is going to be 30 times 27. Now I'm going to take 30, excuse me, and I'm going to take 27 times 30, and I'm going to put the 30 on the bottom because I want to keep that multiplication of 10 on the bottom. It reduces the amount of work. So now I'm going to put my placeholder there, drop in my 0 because instead of 30, I'm going to do 3, and 3 times 7 is 21. Carry out 2, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 is 8. So knowing this is 810. When I add 162 and 810, I'll end up with 972. So we know this equals 972. Now before we do standard algorithm, let's go ahead and round these. 27 is closer to 30 times 36 is closer to 40. And I know 3 times 4 is 12 and two zeros. So it should be roughly 1,200 and I'm almost 1,000 with our answer. So that's probably pretty reasonable. Now let's look at the standard algorithm. 6 times 7 is 42, carry our 4. 6 times 2 is 12, and 4 is 16, so 162. The same as we got at our, stand, our area model over here. Now we're going to the 30. But I'm going to put my 0 down here so I can just multiply by 3 now, because I've taken the 10 out. 3 times 7 is 21, carry our 2. 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 is 8. When I add them up, 279, 972. So I got the same answer twice. Now we're just going to use a standard algorithm. And I'm going to start off by just doing an estimate to make sure that my standard algorithm is close. So I know 649, I'm around the closest 100, so that's going to be 600 times, and we're going to the nearest 10 on this one, so that would be 50. And I know 6 times 5 is 30, and I'm going to have three zeros. So that should be close to 30,000. So let's try it now. 649 times 53. Starting with our ones, three times seven, three times nine is 27. Care of two, four times three is 12, and two is 14. Care of one, six times three is 18, and one is 19. Now we're going to 50s. But instead of 50, I'm going to put the 0 there, I'm going to go 5. 5 times 9 is 45. Carry the 4. 5 times 4 is 20, and 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 6 and 5 is 30, and 2 is 32. We add it up, we're going to go 7, 9, 13, 4, and we end up with 34,397. And our answer is reasonable, because we said 30,000. Let's go to B. I would round that to 500, because it's 496 closer to 5, 5 than 4. And the 53, I'm going to round to 50. And I know 5 times 5 is 25, and I'll have three zeros. So we know our answer should be approximately 25,000. Now we're going to go 496, multiply that times 53. Well, 3 times 6 is 18, carry 1. 3 times 9 is 27, 1 is 28, carry 2. 3 times 4 is 12, and 2 is 14. Put our placeholder for 50. Now we're going to multiply by 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry our 3. 5 times 9 is 45, and 3 is 48. Carry our 4. And 5 times 4 is 20, and 4 is 24. And we add up our partial products. And we need a 26,288. And that is reasonable. Our next one, let's go ahead and do our estimation. 758 is closer to 800. 46 is closer to 50. 
and I know 8 times 5 is 40, and I have 3 is 0. So we should be looking for an answer close to 40,000. Now let's go 758 times 46. 8 times 6 is 48, carrier 4. 6 and 5 is 30, and 4 is 34, carrier 3. 6 times 7 is 42, and 3 is 45. Now let's multiply the 40. Let's pull the 10 out. Now we can do a 4. 4 times 8 is 32. Carry our 3. 4 times 5 is 20, and 3 would be 23. Carry our 2. 4 times 7 is 28, and 2 would be 30. So we have 8, 6, 8, 4, 3. So 34,868. Now that's lower than what I had estimated. So something tells me there's a pr that it that that's still reasonable though because if you look at it I rounded up 800 and I rounded up to 50 so my answer would be more than it so it'd be a reasonable estimate. My last one if I round into 500 and round into 50 that'd be 25,000 that it should be and then doing the standard algorithm. 529 times 48, we're going to do a 48 first, 8 times 9 is 72, 8 times 2 is 16, and 7 is 23, 8 times 5 is 40, and 2 be 42, place our 0 for our placeholder, instead of 40, we're going to multiply by 4 now, 4 times 9 is 36, 4 times 2 is 8, and 3 is 11, 4 times 5 is 20, and 1 is 21, so let's add it up, we got 2, 9, 3, Five, so it'll be 25,392. And our estimate is very close. Okay, our last problem. Jason buys a car and pays by payments. Each state, each installment is 567 per month. After 48 months, Jason owes $1,250. What is the total price of the vehicle? Well, let's do a tape diagram first so we can make sense of this. And let me get this in there. Okay, so let's do our tape diagram now. I'm going to go ahead and do this first. And I know this one here is 12, excuse me, 567. So that's his payments, 567. And according to this, it says he did 48 of them. Okay, so I know this right here would be 567 times 48. And then he said at the end of that, here, he still owed $1,250. Still owes. And we're looking for total cost of car. So I can see the first thing I have to do is solve for this problem here. If I do 567 times 48... 8 times 7 is 56, 8 times 6 is 48, and 3 would be 53, 5 would be 53, I'm sorry. 8 times 5 is 40, and 5 would be 45. Put our placeholder in there, now we go 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 6 is 24, and 2 would be 26. 4 times 5 is 20, and 2 would be 22. Add it up, we have 6, 11, 12, 7, 27,216. But that was this. This here was equal to 27,216. But he still owes 1250. So we're going to add 1250 to it. And we have 6, 6, 4, 8, Two. So, total car cost was 